and welcome back. Joining me now is Chief Deputy Kevin Wiles with the Warren County Sheriff's Office. He's here to talk about Feed the Force. That's happening May 17th at Soki Marketplace. Thank you for being here. Oh yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, let's talk about Feed the Force. Um, what is it all about? So I'm here, I'm, I work for the Sheriff's Office, but I'm here representing the Southern Kentucky Crime Stoppers Board. This is um, this Wednesday, the 17th from 11 to 1, we're having a luncheon, which is a fundraiser for our nonprofit organization. And so um, if you're not familiar with Crime Stoppers, um, it is uh, basically set up to receive tips from the public that then are passed along to law enforcement agencies in our area to assist them in developing leads to, um, to fight the crime. Um, and, and that's um, really the point of it is to, to raise funds that can then be used to pay the tipsters. Okay. Okay. So yes, I, we definitely know about Crime Stoppers around here because it has been, you know, we've been airing the, the different crimes each week. So, but there's some people who may not know about Crime Stoppers and what is that? Yes, yeah, so it basically it's a, a nonprofit group that helps to organize three different components that, that really help. Um, so we have the, the public, the police, and then the media. And so what we do is we receive information from um, the public that provide tips that then we pass along to law enforcement and the law enforcement then follows up on those. And one, the, I guess the important part of this is that we, we don't want the names of the people who provide the information, but we do yeah. work with a third party that then uh, ensures that they are paid for that information. Okay, that's interesting um, because I had never really thought about, you know, how you pay them thousand dollars or whatever the the amount of the reward is. Yes, and, and those the, the amount paid varies depending on the type of crime. So the more oh. serious or violent crimes um, would be, I guess, considered uh, a higher payout, so to speak. So, but we do have uh, tips that come in from the whole range of, of things that happen. And so we, we like to, to view it as a way that we help uh, the police um, make this such a, a great place to, to live and raise families. Yeah, and it really is. And thanks to this organization, you know, uh, Crime Stoppers, yes. that just helps make it a little safer. <laughs> yes. Well, you said food trucks earlier. Tell me about the food trucks okay. that might be there. For yes, we're everyone. excited about this. We're going to have multiple food trucks at the um, Southern Kentucky Market Pavilion, which is right there behind Hot Red Stadium and, and Sky Pack. So mm -hmm. um, there's plenty of parking. They'll have tables set up. And, and pretty much you just come in for $12 a ticket. And part of that is going to be used to pay for the, the tips eventually. But also you get a lunch. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And uh, there'll be a lot of, uh, I guess, community folks out there. So, it, and, and it's looking like good weather Wednesday, I hope. So Good, good. Hopefully it'll <laughs> but, stay that way. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and also this week is uh, Police Officer Memorial uh, Week. So we yes. are, any, any officers or deputies or troopers that come out, anybody in law enforcement um, that comes out in uniform, we give them uh, a free meal. Okay, good, good. I like to hear that. So the, the $12, then you just pick out whatever meal you want from the food truck? Exactly, yes. You'll get wow. a ticket and you can use it in any of those food trucks that are present. Okay, well that's pretty nice. Yeah, take a group of people out there for lunch, especially if it's going to be nice. This is a great excuse to get out, plus you're helping a great cause as well. Is there anything else you want to add? Just how much we appreciate this community and, and also WKO for letting us come and, and speak. I very much appreciate getting the word out. Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, Feed the Forest fundraiser event will be Wednesday, the 17th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Soki Marketplace Pavilion right here in Bowling Green. Food trucks like we just talked about from the community providing lunch to law enforcement and so many others. Tickets, 12 bucks. We'll be right back.